Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story, and we're here at the Geneva Concourse of Illinois. It's a little overcast, but sometimes that's the way it is in England, yes? Oh, oh yes. Most of the time. Most of the time. So we've got the right car for being in England for that. So I'm with, who am I with? Brenda. Brenda, shake my hand, please. Thank you. Nice to be here. David Bellis. David Bellis. And, and Andrew Bellis. And Andrew, and this is his son. So the car has been passed down. Yes. yes. And, and we'll show you some of what the car that I'm going to show you originally looked like. But let me grab the main attraction. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. So, Andrew, come with me. Mm -hmm. And what do we have here today? Okay, it's a 1932 Rolls Royce uh, Phantom II Continental. So, so now you're from England. Yes. Okay, and your, your parents are from England. Yeah. And they found this car where? This was in a barn. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't exactly a barn find, but it was in a barn. And uh, it was just a rusted uh, chassis with hens uh, and animals living in it, but it was the chassis that uh, my father wanted to restore since he'd already restored previously a, a Phantom II, uh, but it wasn't the Continental. So this was the one, and uh, it started a five year restoration project, uh, making the body the design he wanted. And David, come with me too. You, you originally found this car in what year? Um, what we did, about 1988. 1988, and when you found the car in 88, what was, what was, what, step with it, what did it originally look like? Um, a mess. So, so, <laughs> so, so what made, straw on it and so on. what made you say, I'm going to take this project on, what made this car so special to you? Because a, uh, a Rolls Royce Phantom II Continental yeah. is worth doing, no matter how bad it starts, it's really worth bringing it back up to uh, a good standard. And we will show some of the pictures of what that looked like. And I'm just featuring some of the details of this. And it just looks tremendous. The all-important goddess there on the, but they have a name for that. What is it, the flying, flying spirit? Lady. Flying lady. Yes. Flying lady, yes. All right, let me take a look at the side. Andrew, come on with me. We're going to open up all the toys. And David, come with me too. Come on back with me, Andrew. Okay. Let's let's take this in. So the style in really tried to take the classic styles uh, of a two-door coupe. Uh, so really, what uh, what my father did was really get the the classic designs from Cooper and the other uh, designers of bodies. And so many of these parts were all fabricated that you're seeing, yeah. but done spectacularly. D David, you, you've won some awards with this car. Let, let's uh, just open that up, kind of yeah. the, the golf, the golf uh, club area, yeah. so you can see how that works, and it goes all the way across. Yeah. Look at the the detail in the wonderful. Yeah. Just so the craftsmanship, it was done in the, just the traditional handcrafted way of manufacturing and designing the, uh, the body and all the fittings. And, and here on the, uh, now, now David, you, you, uh, you're an engineer. Yes. And, and as an engineer, you decided that uh, you needed a little bit of uh, work on it. So you drew it out and you put this together. How did you come up with the wood? Um, panels. I, I didn't want a bolt tail because you lose a lot of space with a bolt tail. Okay. But I wanted a lockable um, storage space. Yes. Because on the previous Phantom 2, we found that the, there wasn't lockable and um, you had to sometimes leave it on a road somewhere in France. And one time they pushed it down the road some some revelers in the really? middle of the night. So I decided, <laughs> right, we'll have it all lockable. So this is all lockable. So you said, we're, we're taking care of that problem. So so uh, let me grab an overall shot of the back uh -huh. because uh, the back is uh, amazing as well. And there we go. I really want to catch that fender because it's so unique. Yeah. All right, there we go. And all right, so let's open the, the c compartment. Yeah. So here's the, can lock it and then these just latches come and basically yes here's your here's your here's lots your, of picnic yes uh, your area here and you can see that this is all is it yeah. leather inserts it's yeah this is wonderful. leather here it's yeah got a little bit 
That's all right. It's, it's had stuff in the trunk. You understand that. We understand that. And uh, to be able to reach in is sometimes an issue getting in the back of the trunk. So yeah. one of the features here was actually to make steps built into the body. Show us that, please. That actually don't look out of place. So here so we have the, 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 what appears to be a normal license plate. Uh -huh. We put this key in. The key is used around the car for the, you do a half turn and there's your step. Your step to get in. To yeah. Look at you. Fantastic. Yeah. On both sides. On both sides, yeah. And then you just lock it like that and tell, no one knows. Tell me about some of the awards that this car's won. Uh, well, in the Rolls Royce Enthusiast Club in the UK, uh, my father's took it a number of times and uh, won the most elegant and the best in class for the Phantom 2s and there's a lot of Phantom 2 Continentals there, at least the most in the world when they yes. show them some very nice cars. But this one held its own and it was only three years ago that it won uh, the uh, best in class. Uh, before it came over to the US. Outstanding. All right, well, let's shut the trunk compartment. But you've got some things in the States, haven't you, Andrew? Yeah. We're gonna take a look at that when we go right to the interior, but I wanna go, I wanna get the side of the car as well. What is, is this your gas? Yeah, this is the... Uh... Oh, I like that. There's a little turn handle there. Yeah, and then this is just an over. Yes, okay. Tremendous. All right, let's uh, let's uh, take a look at the interior. Okay. So it has the suicide doors. Yeah. As we can see. And the, the, the inlay of woods are very nice. Yes, very good Walls woodwork. Take, again, take a look at it. take a look at this woodwork. Let's actually show that. Yeah. So here's another. There. Uh, sorry. To... No, go ahead. Again, another lockable storage space here. Uh, again, making the best yeah. use. Of uh, space. Of space. Who did the woodworking? Uh, Steve Penny. Okay. Uh, the, Steve which, Penny. And Steve Penny there is the coach builder you ah. can see. We caught that question at the right time. Yeah. The seats are adjustable. Uh, Look at the, the detail and the hinge. So we can adjust the seats forward and back here, and also you can adjust the rack of well, the seat. Well, it's as well to say that I had a modern Rolls Royce and you had all electric adjustments on the seats. Mm -hmm. So I set them as I wanted them and then I measured the, all the measurements and um, put them onto these seats so I had the good measurement. Okay. And you did all the measurements for the seat for the seat David from yourself. The, from the from the, the steering wheel everywhere so that it was the same as the modern car. And where did you find the gauging? No, the gauges were there. The gauges were most, there? Most okay. of the gauges were there. These little switches are from a ship's chandelier. Okay. Andrew, jump in the other side. We're going to take a look at this, uh, uh, some of the books. This, this woodwork, is, is it David? Brenda, come, come around, tell me. David, is it rosewood? Yes, mahogany. Boxwood and inlaid with. This is rosewood, I think. Oh, Beautiful. That's rosewood. Beautiful, Beautiful, isn't it? It's very nice. Yes. Yeah. Look this at is this. how they used to make real cars. Yeah, real cars. <laughs> yeah. So we start with the Rolls Royce. Give me just a second. It's catching up. Okay. We start with the Rolls Royce Phantom Two Continental book. Yeah, this is a new book. Uh, just came out last month. And it's right got every Rolls-Royce Phantom II Continental. And we start here, we can see this is this car here, 54 MS. Uh, I just want to let people take that in. Some of the history there. And what an interesting picture is here when it was new. Uh, right it was used by Barker and Rolls-Royce on it in Paris. So it was uh, at the Paris Auto Show when it was new. And this is a picture of it traveling through the streets of Paris on <laughs> a horse and cart going to that show before it was delivered to its owner, its Look first owner. Here we can see, I'll just show you, and this it, was the drawings, the original body as it was, and then these are the drawings I, for the new body. And, and I saw these drawings and, and David was more than humble in talking about his uh, engineering skills. He says, yeah, this is something I just drew up in five minutes. <laughs> Looks like you did pretty good for five minutes. Yeah. 
Outstanding. Let me just grab this shot and this shot. Yeah, and then there's obviously just pictures. More pictures of the car it. that we're looking at. So, all right. So that's let, that. This then, book interests me. Now, before we flip that, look at the beautiful. Where did you get this? Well, there. this is the uh, original chassis plate. There's actually the chassis two, two of them. Yeah, there's one actually on the on the uh, firewall. Okay, here, we'll but there was an that. extra one. And there was an extra one. Yeah. That came in handy. So here. Let's see what it originally them. looked like in the barn. Okay. So these. Oh, these are the pictures of the uh, of it being found here. Look at oh, this. Is there's a model I made. Yeah. There's, there's something that... That's the model of the body. That David just decided to come up with his spare time, the model yeah. of the car. Yeah. And uh, better lift it up here. Yeah. You can see here various pictures of how it was oh, original. Yeah, look at this one. So... Look at this. Wow. Okay. The engine was in uh, bad condition. Okay. So a lot of work to be done. Just a tad. Okay, we're going to shut that because we see the end result. Uh -huh. But I wanted to show people how far this car has come. Show me some of the awards too you have in the very back. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Look at this. Some of these here. These are great. Uh, I guess this Most was in 2011. Uh, That's wonderful. Annual rally, Rolls-Royce rally. First in class 2012. Yeah, for the class three. And by and the way, these cars I'm sitting in smells wonderful. Most elegant in class 2012 as well. It should, it, it should get uh, also a best smelling car. If, if we could put this like in a cologne. <laughs> yeah. This would be a good good guy's cologne. Okay. Okay. All right, let's take a look under the hood before we start it. Back the car in that we take take off your door on. Yeah. You always turn that sideways to open the. Side, let's 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 open that side quickly. We've got a car pulling, and we're going to just wait for you to just for a yeah, second. Yeah, no problem. Hold on for just a second. We're going to wait for a photo. Oh wow, that is tremendous, David. What what are we talking about liter wise here? Sorry. How many liters? Seven point seven. Seven point seven. Wow, this will uh, straight six. This will. So Pull a few things. Every cylinder is pretty quick. And there's where the Stelvio, between Switzerland and Italy, with uh, 47 numbered air pin bends that we went up Look in the that. rally. Where's the other, uh, what is this? Looks like a big... That's for taking the um, wheel off. Okay, what I gotcha. I... Okay, so this is the jack. Yes. Oh, this is the jack. Oh, this is the jack. And that's but the this... jack handle, and this is for undoing the wheel nut. Gotcha. It's Where's the other badge? The Rolls Royce badge. Is it on the other side? Um, oh. uh, on the firewall. Be, uh, Let's go on the other side. Let's open the other side. So we'll let that other car come in. Oh, actually, so long since it's in here. Okay. You'll just see it right against the firewall, down in the middle. Oh yeah, there we go. It's right. It's right there. Got it. All right, let's open the other side. Let, we'll let the other car roll in. Just, uh... Ready? Yeah. Okay. Wow. This is the autovac, and it pumps petrol into here, uh -huh. and then it, by gravity it takes it down. Uh, but it's very near the exhaust pipe, so we've put some, <laughs> most people did. And then it's got a magneto and it's got a coil. So there's two spark plugs, one on each side for each cylinder. One spark plug works with the coil and one spark plug works with the magneto. Okay, let's, uh, let's start her up. Okay. And we'll get a little exhaust note. Unbelievably quiet. 
just get the exhaust note for a second. Rolls Royce famed for the uh, quietness at the end. Wow. And his day, this was uh, unbelievable. All right. Well, we'll shut it off. Go to California now and it wouldn't miss a beat. Is that right? Yeah, I'm very confident in the car. Come, come on with me. Come stand with me. Stand right next to your wonderful car. Stand right next to him. Brenda, come with us for just a moment. First of all, thanks for bringing an outstanding car to the Geneva Concourse. Thanks for the, another exclusive with My Car Story. And I thank you so much for uh, sharing all the details of your car. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you.